Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Shazana bin Tiarana. Today I would like to present regarding insufficient knowledge level and communication due to failure in project management in nation construction area. Okay. Now we proceed to background of the project. For information, uh, a previous year they have an accident. Uh, in the Terengganu, which is uh, Sultan Mizan Zaina Abidin Stadium, which is a roof collapse. It uh, happened on June 2009, which are uh, over half of stadium roof collapse, which are uh, being destroyed completely. From the observation, uh, show that half of the stadium roof was being collapsed. From the report state that the project was completed on time but mm, they, ha they have a problem regarding the roof which is uh, conducted by South Korean construction firm and for construction uh, company was from Malaysia. So from uh, the observation show also that it was so obviously that government won the stadium ready for Sukma Games in 2008. From that, uh, from that statement, we can state that the the time consuming uh, provide to the construction company is quite limited. There uh, and also the communication breakdown between the consultant company and construction firm. Okay, next we go to the next section which is a uh, problem identified uh, regarding the issue being arise, which is uh, first, support condition uh, for the roof was, was incorrectly analyzed, which is as a, sub, as a main con for the project, they need to analyze all the materials or the structure before they implement in the project. So there was also an alternative design used by the contractor that was never sent to the designer for analysis. Before your information in construction area, before the design section or before the drawing be used in the construction, they need to analyze first the drawing. They need to check whether the drawing is it uh, correctly uh, cor correctly calculate or correct, correctly allocate the specific item. So, there was no appropriate person uh, appropriate person to analyze the drawing as usual. And furthermore, pressure to due to the owner that provide, uh, the, provide the strict time or schedule to complete the project. Okay, as, as the owner, uh, they should consider uh, what the project looks like, how the project condition, because they want to meet the objective, the requirement for the Sukma game, so they keep pushing the construction to complete in time. Mm, that was not consider the quality of the project itself. So next is a lack of quality control, which is ISO and OSHAS. On the side, which occur to the accelerated schedule, and in their mind, they said that just get it done, but incorrectly. So the implementation of ISO and OSHA was not be uh, fully utilized, which means that procedure have been produced, the structure have have been produced, but the construction itself and also the cons consultant not use the standard procedure or codes that we uh, produce in uh, the ISO and OSAS. Next is a lack of checking mon and monitoring progress from the design firm. Okay, before we produce any, as I mentioned earlier, before we produce a drawing before, they have a need to double check. So because of that, uh, lacking of checking and monitoring for the updated uh, drawing design, for the amendment drawing design, 
will occur to the uh, issue like uh, failure in project management. So, uh, in other way also, the problem been identified that communication breakdown with consultant firm and contractor. For, for information, as a main contractor, they need to rely each other on con with a consultant, which means any uh, updated, any amendment made by the consultant or made by construction, they need to raise up. Means that if let's say they want to instruct to build up for the roof, so they need a specification for the materials, who the subcon will uh, conduct to monitor and all the necessary thing. So, uh, lastly, uh, but not least, uh, project manager not fully monitor in all aspects. Okay, as a project manager, manager, they have a huge of res responsibility. Just as they need to monitor checking, updating, uh, monitor all the stuff in accurately. So, as a project manager also, they need to analyze what the material use for the for during the construction itself. Next, we go to the prevention and solution segment, which is is a solution to avoid issue for the failure in the project management. Even though the project is still on time, but the outcome from the project itself will be measured from the uh, construction. Okay, first is enforce much stronger code and standard of work for all building, which is as a leader or as a project manager, as a leader for the construction itself, uh, consultant, they need to lead their subordinate about regarding the procedure, the policy that been uh, implemented in Malaysia. Furthermore, the main construction was from South Korean, so they need to, to learn more about the ISO and OSHA's uh, regulation in Malaysia. Okay, next is design process has several times to be reviewed, should be uh, utilized for a structure drawing, which is uh, as a consultant. Before they produce a drawing, they need to check out a double check. Next, a project manager must implement the pyramid of foundation for the project, which is include first uh, is a strategy, goals, program, objective, and mission. Okay, for to make the project management to be successful, and is how to minimize risk also. The project uh, manager must implement the foundation of the construction, which is first is a strategy. Okay, for example, like if the project was uh, regarding uh, the stadium, okay, they need to implement or uh, to structure carefully for the roofing about the fields. They need to consider all aspects. Okay, let's say if a uh, Anything happen in the room, what the contingency plan that they need to implement. So second is the goals. Okay, what is the goal uh, during the project? Is it want to build up uh, the building or build up the stadium? For the issue right now, they want to build up the stadium. So the goal is to make the stadium complete on time with a high quality. So. Uh, next is a program. Program which is uh, like a schedule uh, provided by project manager or appropriate persons to uh, make a schedule to specific uh, to coordinate their subordinate or allocate their task regarding for example like first week they are to do a piling. Second week continue uh, the same work. So it's like a program or schedule that being as a guideline to the staff to follow during the construction. Number four is the objective. What is the objective of the project? 
what we need to achieve and how to achieve the project. With this, uh, as a leadership, they need to lead their staff to, to go through all the stages. Last is a mission. Mission this is they want to improve time to time, next, uh, next step to the next step to be uh, much better. Next is the interpersonal skills that require which include of communication, leadership, motivation and problem solving. As a staff also, they need to learn uh, a soft skill uh, training, which is how they want to communicate, how they want to work each other, co co cooperate each other and make a problem solving when uh, regarding any matter arise. Another one point is uh, communication within a team and outside the party need to be clearly defined prior to the problem situation during the process, process progress. For example, like conducting a meeting with client or consultant or subcontractor uh, and keep record and update of any pending or delay in the work work in the site. For example, like uh, during the meeting, there during in the construction area, early every week they actually every day they will be having the meeting, a short discussion whether what they want to do today, what they need to complete today. So to produce the information, uh, to track back the information so they can produce uh, minutes of meeting or record data um, in uh, once a week. So from that, if anything happen, they can trace back the information how they want to uh, search uh, for the root cause of the issue arise. Okay, then for the last uh, solution, from my opinion, is internal party such as uh, auditor need to always monitor and update to project manager if the project was not follow the standard of the work codes. So means that as an auditor in a company itself, they need to collaborate with the project manager and update the status, how the status of the progress and how the status of the flow of the construction and the project progress itself. Okay, as a conclusion, some of the project manager was poor in communication. Okay, not all the project manager good in every wide of area. Some of the project manager lack of communication. Some of the uh, manager good in communication but lack in the skill. But furthermore, how to improve the project manager itself? They need go to training. They need to polish out all their skill about their knowledge and communication. Everything back to the basic is a communication between their staff. And also, uh, they also uh, poor in how to begin and how to start, how to deliver and how to accept the information. However, the problem with communication is not lack of skill, but it's lack of focus to the, uh, from the project manager itself. If let's say a uh, project manager is focused in a certain thing, they will not lack of uh, communication with their own staff. Okay, next is uh, before accepting project tender, the company itself need to do analysis what the consequences and benefit, which is analyze the risk before construct or accept the project that require full commitment to complete, which is during the tender, tendering, the company, a uh, construction company need to, need to an, analyze the risk, uh, the, the risk, the benefit, the contingency plan, what they will do if they have a, a issue, how they want to, how they want to overcome the issue. So, for example, like if the site project was near to the river, uh, what if the contingency plan if the having a raining raining day? So, before accepting any project, uh, construction company itself 
must do a research first before accept any project. Lastly is a uh, proactive communication can help overcome many other mistakes, which is all the consultant, construction company and and other faculty suggest need to sit together and collaborate together and discuss each other what's the issue, what is the progress and what is the budget situation right now in the construction. So then from that they have an idea or uh, they have an information how to overcome and how to eliminate or minimize the risk in the construction area because communication is important without communication people will misunderstood and we blame each other and from that we also can make the project successful and project management will be followed as we uh, we struck and as we conduct okay thank you for me uh, that's all for me thank you for watching Assalamualaikum.